Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. As I teach Excel, I often say to my students that many people make the mistake of trying to develop their spreadsheets on the actual screen itself, on the computer itself. I've always found that the most efficient way is to develop a plan, write it out on paper, or as I've done here, at least type the concept of what you want to do uh, on a worksheet and I often call these things the scene. What do I want to do? First of all I know that in this case the example we'll be using that Joe Citizen needs a housing loan and he needs to supply some income details, expenses etc. He wants to use these figures $400,000 over 25 years <coughs> at 5.5% per annum and he wants monthly repayments. The bank then needs to process his application. So the first thing we're going to do is to build a simple income and expense statement first uh, to see how all of this links in together. And what we need to do is think about the functions and the maths that we require. So in the details of his income, we need to think about the sum function, the arithmetic uh, uh, situations, plus, minus, multiply, as we'll see and then the bank setting up their particular uh, worksheet to calculate need to use these four functions the absolute function which simply removes the sign as we'll see of a number makes a negative number look positive the payment function the if statement and the and statement we'll also see how the spreadsheet can link and we'll use a little bit of conditional formatting so first of all let's look at Joe's position so what we've done here, we've said that uh, his salary is $8,000 per month. He has investment income of that, etc., etc. In this particular cell, we've used the sum function to add the cells above. The expenses, we've done the same thing. Uh, we've taken some uh, typical expenses and then we have used the sum function again to add up those cells and then the gross income we have said that we want to deduct what is in that cell E18 from uh, E8 that cell there and then apply a tax rate in this case we'll say 25% uh, to his gross income the total monthly income and then the net income will be uh, E20 that figure minus that figure. He has also been employed for three years because the bank will want to know how long he's been employed so that they can make a judgment. So, so far we've seen that in the development of our spreadsheet we have uh, taken into account the first requirement. Let's look at what the bank does. The net income, 1535. How did we get that in there? We typed in an equal sign and then we went back to Joe's position and we clicked on the cell with a net income and because there was an equal sign it said look in the sheet called Joe's position <coughs> uh, the exclamation mark separates the cell reference from the sheet name the bank will allow the rent so the rent that he's paying at the moment is uh, $2,000 per month here but of course the banks say well if we approve the loan you won't need to pay the rent uh, we can allow for that so your available funds for the loan repayment are that and that is equal to those two cells added together now the bank have some loan requirements first of all the loan repayment must not exceed 75 percent of the available funds Secondly, he must be employed for more than two years with the present employer. So the bank have something that looks like this. The rate per annum, 5.5%. Joe wants 25 years. He wants to borrow 400000 No balloon payment. In other words, he wants to pay the entire loan off by the last payment. What are his monthly repayments? Well, the monthly repayments work on this formula here. The absolute function after the equal sign simply converts a negative number to a positive number. In other words if I remove that particular 
uh, faction then I'm shown a negative number it's negative in the payment function because Excel needs to reduce the principal interest over the period of years however for appearance sake we'll put in an absolute function that one there and I see that it simply removes the sign while we're talking about these uh, functions remember that Excel always calculates the most the inside most function first so it's calculating the payment first and the payment is based on a uh, formula that we can see here in the function arguments the payment function and if I uh, uh, cancel that uh, we're going to insert the function and we'll say that the function is the payment which is A11 the rate divide by 12 because we have an annual rate here we're dividing it by 12 to get a monthly rate the term 25 years in B11 must be multiplied by 12 to get months so that we're comparing apples and apples C11 the principal and the zero indicates that there is nothing hanging over at the end so we have our function here and now the big test will Joe be approved at this stage yes and the reason he is approved up here in the function in the formula we start with an if statement and we say if the AND statement means that the, f the two arguments involved in the AND statement must both be true for the answer to be yes if one is not true the answer will show as no so if Joe's position in G4 is greater than 2 or what's Joe's position in G4 yes here it is here he has uh, been employed for more than two years incidentally in the view tab I turned off the heading so for appearance sake we'll put them back on so there we are in G4 now the bank also say in the bank um, uh, cell E11 this one here is that payment less than what's in G2 multiplied by 75% or well, what's in G2 we'll scroll up the available funds if both of those are true the answer is yes if one is not true the answer will be no so let's say that uh, Joe's term of employment was only two years let's see how that affects the formula the bank now say no sorry you can't be approved because you haven't been with your employer for more than two years okay well Joe says not not a problem I have been employed for three years so we put that back to three and now he will be approved because both of the conditions are true up here Joe's position is greater than two for his terms employed but what if he said oh, look I'm improved but I need more money can I borrow 500,000 the answer is no because now his monthly repayment is greater than 75% of the available funds for the loan repayment so he comes back to the, oh well I'll stick with the 400,000 and he is approved because that figure is now less than 75% of that figure so that's how Joe uh, would have his loan approved by the bank and as you can see the conditions of the scene were all covered uh, we had something to work on to develop our spreadsheet as we move through of course Joe's worksheet would be on his computer the bank's worksheet would be on their computer so uh, Joe can fill in what the bank needs for his position using whatever the bank uh, have on their computer for his income statement so hopefully you found this handy the point of the exercise is that try not to develop your spreadsheets ad hoc on the fly as it were uh, 
use some indication as what you need and you'll find that your spreadsheets become much much more easy to develop thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment any questions you might have would be delighted to answer for you and don't forget to subscribe bye for now